Alrighty. Uh, hello, everyone. Hope everyone's having a good time. Welcome to the 11th CoreDevs Bi-Weekly Meeting. Uh, today is uh, Thursday, the 11th of February. Um, a couple more people popping in. Uh, yeah, uh, usual uh, usual agenda today. We'll start with updates from the various folks, um, and then there's a couple of items of discussion. Um, uh, note that the representatives from Venus aren't joining because they're celebrating uh, the Spring Festival in China. Um, so we wish them happy holidays. Uh, they did share an update uh, that I'll read out for the benefit of the recording, though. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, cool. Let's kick it off with maybe Forest folks. What updates do y'all have? Hey, yeah. Um... So, I mean, it's definitely an exciting time in forest land. Um, we are syncing with mainnet. Uh, we have two nodes running on there right now, um, and they've been running for the last couple of weeks. I think we had um, a couple small discrepancies since the last call, um, but yeah, they've been fixed and, and things are, are looking great. Um, and I'm not sure if we mentioned this last call or not, but we can also produce blocks on like a devnet, um, which is great. Uh, we I obviously have not done that on mainnet yet just because of like the hardware requirements. Um, but we are, we would like to do that at some point. So um, yeah, just figuring out the best way to actually get to that point. Um, we're also, I mean, like, because we got to get, got to this point doing like a bit of a documentation push. So hopefully um, you'll see some more stuff in terms of just like, yeah, documentation in the near future. Um, other than that, we're also working on updating to V3. So uh, the Hampt and the Ant are done right now. And um, I think Eric started the actors upgrades yesterday. So just working on that. Um, and also um, we are updating our RPC to um, just make sure it's at least somewhat compatible with Lotus. At least that's the goal. I mean, we talked a bit about that in our call last week, Ayush, but um, we've been working on that and just adding HTTP support as well because we had it before, um, but then um, we removed it when we were adding WebSocket support, but now, yeah, it's adding it back in. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else major. Um, we are hoping to have an audit done in early March. Um, so, yeah, I think we're going to be doing that with Sigma Prime. Deep uh, from the PL team is helping us arrange that. Um, but yeah, I think, I think that's about it. Um, we have some personnel changes. I think this is going to be Austin's last core devs call. I don't know, Austin, if you want to just say a few words. Um, yeah, I wasn't really planning on saying anything, but, uh, yeah, like I guess my last day is tomorrow. So like, I'll still be, I guess, around, but I won't be like actively developing, uh, on forest. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And for the, for the update, there's just, uh, uh, one small point is just that we, there was only one small consensus issue, which was a week ago. So the node had been running for a week and then there was a consensus issue and then it's been running since. So yeah, everything's uh, pretty much good there. Yeah, mine's been running for around six days, I think, six or seven days. So yeah, there are a few stability issues that I've seen, but they're non-consensus related. Um, yeah. Nice, very nice. Uh, yeah, uh, it is in fact an exciting time. Six six plus days of staying in sync with mainnet is is pretty cool with no issues. Um, and yeah, Austin, obviously, sorry to hear that you will you will not be a part of this particular squad anymore. And thank you for all of your contributions. Uh, it's been great. Yeah, that's uh, awesome. Thanks. Yeah, uh, cool. Uh, with the Fuhan folks, uh, check the work. Yeah, sure. Uh, hi everyone. So uh, for us, it was also quite an exciting time. Uh, we've been uh, working on the performance improvements. And uh, in the last call, I mentioned that we had faced an issue where we cannot uh, catch up with the main net due to the uh, performance issues in synchronization process. So we've uh, made uh, decent efforts in improving that. Uh, shout out to Austin for helping us out to uh, point at the uh, features that could help us in improving the performance. So we've been able to improve from uh, five and a half minutes per block to 11, 11 seconds on average per block. So now we're in a good shape to continue with um, synchronization. And currently, our, well, we have restarted our node today. Uh, it has downloaded all the data and now it's in the process of sync. So hopefully uh, no, no issues will be 
uh, found, well, probably there was, <laughs> some will be, but uh, they will not be uh, as critical. And we will see how uh, interpretation will go and uh, catch up and sync of the node uh, after the, afterwards. So we are still working on the uh, wrapping up with uh, actors V2. Uh, we have uh, we, we need we decided that we need uh, some more or less big uh, uh, refactoring uh, on some of our actors due to uh, well uh, changes in actors V0 to V2. Uh, so we decided to take our time and do it uh, uh, now when we have a, a time for that. So we have finished with more or less everything except two actors, which are storage actor and storage, oh, well, market actor, I'm sorry, and storage minor actor. Uh, and we are going forward to implement them, I think. Well, I'm not sure about the next weekly meeting, but uh, probably the one month later, uh, we'll wrap up with them for sure. Uh, so our aim is also to request for the security audit after we'll have our node for at least a week or two running on the mainnet. So uh, if everything will go well, probably on the next meeting, I will announce that we'll have, uh, we'll start scheduling a security audit. Uh, yep, and I think that's mostly it from, our, from my side. Yeah, and we're going to start minor uh, probably on the testnet. Uh, I think uh, uh, probably two weeks later. So two weeks from now, I mean. Uh, yep, that's it from my side. Very cool, thanks. Uh, yeah, sounds, sounds like a lot of progress. Uh, it's really cool that all of the implementations are kind of kind of getting there, uh, getting to the same place at the same time. Uh, good work. Uh, I'll quickly read out uh, the update that Stephen uh, from the Venus team shared with us. Um, he says that the team is working um, on a Venus remote wallet for some new features like encrypted key store for private keys. Uh, he's, they've created Venus Miner and Venus Sealer projects um, to make it work and uh, to support a distributed mining pool down the road, which is great. Uh, and they've also been working on documentation uh, and guidance for developers and other users. So there's a documentation push kind of around the board, uh, which is great. Um, all right. Uh, well, uh, the Lotus update is much less exciting than, uh, than all of you folks. Um, uh, yeah, we've kind of had a quiet few weeks um, internally. PL is working on kind of uh, re redirecting for our uh, 2021 mission. Um, so for the most part, Lotus side, uh, we've been testing out the 1.5 release, 1.5.0, uh, which will be introducing V3 actors. Um, we were hoping to get it out before uh, a chunk of East Asia went on holidays, uh, but decided not to rush it. Um, so we've been testing that in the time since, and we're now at that point where we have the confidence to put it out. Uh, we're thinking uh, last week of February, first week of March uh, is when the actual upgrade will happen. Um, so with the release coming out somewhat earlier than that. Um, uh, yeah, hit some bumps uh, in the testing, uh, found some bugs in, in V3 Actors code, uh, so it was good that we were doing that. Um, uh, I'll quickly mention that as part of that uh, testing, we unfortunately took down the calibration network, um, just because it's a calibration network has a lot of mining power uh, distributed across the various miners by this point, and so it's hard to quickly iterate on upgrades there. Um, and so uh, the failed upgrade causes a bunch of miners to get slashed and then everyone else is not upgrading. Um, so, so that network needs to be reset uh, and we're working on that. Um, and also working on figuring how we can stably deploy networks again, uh, because that's kind of been an issue lately. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it with, uh, with Lotus side updates. Um, cool. I have a question there. Um, yeah. So, so, I mean, you, you, you mentioned that there were some bugs in the actor's code. Um, and so I was wondering like when a release for that is gonna be made. Um, Cause I mean, right now I'm targeting the V0, uh, v, V3.0.0 tag. Um, I, and I'm guessing that's probably the one that has bugs in it. Um, yeah. So, I mean, if, if you could point me to where the bugs are or let me know when the tags, uh, w w when a new release is made for that, that'd be kind of nice. Uh, yeah, so, replicate those bugs. 
Yeah, totally. Uh, yeah, I realize we haven't uh, we haven't tagged one yet. Uh, we should. Uh, so if you uh, like, the the fixes are in master and they should be the only commits in master between them. But we should just tag a uh, a fix release. Uh, we will. Um, and they're all uh, so. Yeah, the, the fixes are one line uh, in the ha in the V three ham, um, and then a two one line fixes in the actual uh, V three actors themselves. Uh, I would be curious to see if uh, folks wound up uh, kind of making the same bugs. I'd be I, I wouldn't expect it to because they were all very much like that's the wrong variable name you use there or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Thanks for that question. Any other questions? Uh, sounds good. Uh, so on our agenda, I wanted to, I put down an item to start discussing how we can um, sync on future network upgrades, given that everyone's either already running a node on mainnet or about to do so. Uh, but I figure it might be uh, best to delay that until Venus is actually uh, here as well, uh, just because like that's the one topic where we really want input from everyone um, to, to be fully aligned. So maybe let's uh, let, let's wait a couple of weeks to, to have that conversation, if only because um, we're not planning the next network upgrade shouldn't be for a while after 1.5. Um, maybe we'll start a thread async to, to get preliminary thoughts on that, though. Um, also wanted to quickly talk about FIP12. Um, let me drop the link in here. Let me find it. Uh, oh yeah, Jennifer adds uh, to uh, let her know if you need any help with the community comms for any of the stuff that, of the, all of the exciting stuff that y'all have going on. Uh, Jennifer has good access to the community. So if there's something you'd like to shout it out, uh, let her know. Um, uh, yeah, so FIP12 is a, is a nice simple FIP open from our, this kind of was motivated by our product team. Um, so right now, uh, there's a bit of an irritating feature in the verified registry actor, uh, which is persisting right into V3, um, which is the, the one line version is that a verified client cannot, cannot have their data cap topped up. So a, um, a verifier gives a verified client some data cap, and unless they use it all the way down to zero, they, that address cannot have its data cap topped up. This was implemented primarily as a security thing uh, where we didn't want anything to be exploitable here. And so we just said, use a new address every time uh, if, you, if, you, if you want some more. Uh, but as you can imagine, this isn't great uh, user experience. And so uh, there's a fairly strong ask from the various partners that we're working with to allow people to reuse their addresses uh, as verified clients and have that data cap be topped up. Um, so that's basically the entirety of this, uh, of this uh, FIP. Um, uh, it's still in the early stages, and we're not uh, probably not move, moving on it and implementing it soon. Um, not in the V three upgrade, um, but yeah, take take a look at it. Any preliminary thoughts? Seems pretty uncontroversial. <laughs> yeah, that that's the hope. Um, as always, the thing to think about is whether there is a somehow whether this is exploitable for an attack somehow. Um, the security consideration se section is somewhat fleshed out, but um, yeah, I, I agree that uh, that's fairly uncontroversial. <clears throat> okay, cool. Um, yeah, as always, the discussion uh, can continue in the fifth repo, but I wanted to bring that to, to folks' attention. Um, I'll let you know how, when we decide to move it along or we'll decide when to move it along collectively as a group. Um, but I don't think it has to happen just yet. Um, cool. Uh, any other questions or comments? One thing I did want to bring up is the, yeah, sorry that we still don't have a uh, stable, we, I, feel, I feel like we, we made negative contributions in terms of providing stable test networks and that we took away one. Um, I'll, I'll reiterate that it's a priority to, like, we're just trying to make this work properly, which is why we're taking our time with it um, and making sure that we're not going to be, uh, you know, 
both from the what is what's wrong right now in terms of why do our networks fall apart and also what's the actual need in terms of you know a test network for miners to work with a test network for developers to work with a test network for external implementations to to work with and figuring out exactly what we want and you know how should we how we should be divvying this up like it's kind of like ideally we have one that we can that we have a lot of control over um and then there's one that miners are testing on because that's a very different uh kind of requirement um I'm hoping that uh, we will these networks will uh, be born next week sometime. And sorry again that it hasn't happened yet. Um, questions. Nice. Sounds like sounds like everyone's just like sprinting towards the finish lines, or I guess they're not finish lines, but just sprinting towards the goalpost for now, uh, which is great. Um, Jennifer, uh, ah, Jennifer says that the community suggested we have a test net uh, that requires a sign up uh, in some capacity. Interesting in what that would look like. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah. So like basically the idea because of the 150 situation, they think um, if miners can like sign up for the test net, then we may have like more participation like during the network up upgrades on a test net, because you know, it's not like incentive or anything like for doing it, it's not necessary for them to do it as well. So have a exclusive like list sort of thing may help there. It's coming from the community and it seems like quite a few person agree to that. I'm just wondering how folks think, think about this. Yeah, I think it might be a good idea for like the minor focused test net. It is a little like we're, you know, we're controlling it, but it's a test network. So it's fine to say that we're in charge here. Um, I, think it's a, I think it's an interesting proposal. Yeah, I mean, something, I mean, I, this is probably too much, but um, like something almost like the Space Race Network and keeping that alive would be kind of nice. Um, I don't know. And like lowering hardware requirements for that um, as like a minor test net. Um, that could be an interesting way. Like I know a few other networks have like, you know, quote unquote test nets, but they're like not test nets, but they are test nets. Um, I think that's what Kusama on Polkadot is. Um, that's at least that's what I've been told. <laughs> I'm not too familiar with it though, but um, yeah, something like that could be nice as like you know, yeah, like a beta ground or something. Yeah, uh, yeah, I will say. So there's a couple things there. One of the things is yeah, the uh, lowering hardware requirements is kind of one of those tricky things where that that's kind of what we wanted our test network to always be is just 512 megabyte sectors, but then uh, we wind up not test, not necessarily testing 32 gigabyte sector stuff, which uh, which gets a little tricky. And if you have even a couple miners testing at the 32 gig stuff, then your 512 gigabyte miners are kind of automatically dwarfed, which gets uh, a little irritating. Um, one one definite learning though is that the the new testnet will probably have the the GitHub OAuth faucet again because if not, uh, testnet faucets get drained real quick by our community, um, and then it's a really bad scene where folks have to be begging each other for fake monopoly money. Like it's not what you want. Uh, so we'll I'm be... rich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'll be bringing that back for sure. <clears throat> Cool, sounds good. Uh, yeah, uh, any any follow up questions? Bring up uh, in the Film Implementers channel. Uh, but yeah, congratulations on all all the work. It will be really cool to have other implementations on mainnet really soon. Hey, bye everyone. Bye. Bye. Thanks. See you. Thanks. Bye.